today we're going to be visiting the nature reserve here on Svartoberge. Now Svartoberge is a wonderful area for us to go and do uh, spring watch, nature watch and also during fall and winter time. So this area is on a hill or almost a small mountain and it has loads and loads of trails that we can go on. And um, what uh, was some of the uh, first observations that I did was that also it's really important if you are planning on having some sort of um, some sort of like a, a, a picnic or something like that this is a great area for that or if you come over here on any other day than Monday then the Kissinger Hütte will have refreshments available and uh, we, have, we have maps, uh, trails uh, are really clearly marked um, in, in this area and it has loads of parking spots that are free. Now if we move over to our uh, second, it shows us um, really some of the rules and regulations um, about um, what we can do here. And what is really really great is that we have mountain bikers, um, cross-country skiers, hikers, uh, horseback riders, all um, are allowed to be here and all of these different kinds of sports are supported by um, by this uh, municipality here on Svartseberge. So uh, please join us uh, on this uh, hike around the forest. So Svartoberge is situated approximately 25 kilometers from Bad Kissingen and all these routes are this clearly marked. So we're going to be following the round uh, path number four today and that is going to take us all the way back to this position again and most of our walking paths are now going to be around these paths that are clearly and visible marked like this and I already noticed that we have loads of insects flying around from the mountain and we have some beautiful flowers here blooming and blossoming so let's see our first ones Now the meadows are filled with wood anemones on the sides and cowslip as well, or the common cowslip or cowslip primrose. But look at these beautiful, beautiful flowers spotting our way on this round path number four that we're taking today. And one of the things that I noticed when we started hiking these paths is that how well and clearly they are marked. So usually you can see from tree to tree almost. As we hike along the 
number four path we can listen to all different kinds of birds and really enjoy the views from the top of this Svarche Berge. So as we have our deciduous trees are sprouting their new leaves also our evergreens are growing so during springtime the evergreens are also using the sunlight the warmth in their advantage and renewing their needles and growing growing bigger Another feature on German walking paths, hiking paths, is that usually you can find benches positioned strategically on the most beautiful lookout places of the path. So here we are visiting the nature uh, or biosphere um, reservoir up in Rhone and we have some rules that we have to follow. Number one is that if we bring our pets here, we need to keep them on leash. Uh, we would need to stay on, on our pets. No trash, take your trash home. Um, no open fire, no camping and no picking up any flowers so we're keeping this at it's like in a nature park and an, um, a reservoir for making sure that we have loads of different plants and animals uh, enriching this forest One of the great features of this path is that you can see clearly the effects of the latest ice age. These beautifully mossy rocks being collected by the glaciers that were on top of the Rhone area thousands of years ago. Right opposite from the nature path, we also have some forestry still going on. Now these are freshly cut tree trunks and waiting for the trucks to come and picking them up and taking them to the nearby mill. So these trees are serving now the next generation. So even though the trees have fallen, they're no longer alive, they're no longer living, they will serve as a growth pattern for these decomposing mushrooms and insects. Our path number four takes us past little resting huts like these. These are really handy, especially during winter time when cross-country skiers are skiing and they want to have a break, have some hot chocolate that they probably brought with them. Now, there are many different routes on this 
cross section as well you can see here uh, there's the basalt vague that would be a long way and then we are on that run rund vague four so we'll keep on observing the nature in this direction Kissingerhütte is a great place to relax after you've done your hike. Now unfortunately of course during this lockdown time um, the Kissingerhütte is also closed but with the relaxations in the rules coming soon hopefully they'll be able to open up their beer garden and have their bratwurst and beer available for everyone who is coming over for a wonderful scenery as you can see and sometimes when we hike around observing nature we also see when a predator has caught its meal and left only the feathers to be found afterwards and that concludes our trip to kissing a hütte and i hope you have enjoyed looking around with us observing nature our next episode will be again a bit more about some mystery animals, so stay tuned for the next episode.